How you doing? My name is Mark Cole. I'm an accountant here at BDO in Christchurch. If you're in the area, that's 287 to 283 Durham Street North in the Audi building. If you're throughout the rest of the country watching this, just hop into www.bdo.nz to find your local office. Now, we're going to release a series of videos. These videos are aimed at helping people understand the business so they can grow it themselves, they can improve on it themselves, and then they can have better conversations and better discussions with their advisor. We figured that's going to add the most value to the widest range of people. To start that off, I want to do a video on a model that can be applied to all business at a very simple level. Now to do that, you need to work out why everyone's in business, and that's simply put, to get a return on investment. If you were to ask a business owner about what is their return on investment they're looking for, they might talk about investment of time, they might talk about investment of energy, it might be cash, and then the return is it frees them up in the future, or it provides some other benefit in the future, it could be social, it could be environmental, it doesn't have to be financial, it could be a number of different returns. If you were to talk to an accountant and say, what's their return on investment, they'll do a couple of calculations and might say 8%. That's not as helpful, but what is a more helpful way to look at your ROI, return on investment? If we were to think about it visually, it might look like this. You start off with you as the investor. Right. As an investor, you make an investment. And again, that investment could be a number of different things. It could be time, it could be energy, but to keep it simple, let's just talk about cash at this stage. Let's talk about the financial investment. That investment is used to make purchases, generate sales, uh, there'll be a tax impact of that, the other expenses and overheads. But at the end of the day, you get to your return or your profit. And now, where turnover is vanity, profit is sanity, but cash is king. So we need to go through a period of conversion right, to get to cash. And that is going to include paying off your creditors, so your payables, and also collecting on your debtors. and the other finance things in there as well. At this point, when you've got your cash in your hand, there's a couple of things you can do with it. You can send it back out to you as the investor. And if you're in a company, that could be drawings, that could be dividends. Or we reinvest it. It goes back into the business. And the more this wheel spins, because it becomes a wheel, the greater your return on investment. So the more it spins in any given period, the greater your ROI. We want it to be a, like a big heavy flywheel where it starts being itself. How do we do that? You build your size, you build your speed, and you work on your structure. So if we were to look at a business and say, oh, this is the investment, how do we look at the size, the speed, and the structure? We might look at the size of the return being your sales. And a couple of ideas around that could be, what's the profitability of your lines? What's the mix that you're focusing on, the areas? Are there any distractions in there? Your expenses, when was the last time you reviewed your expenses, are they at the right level? Have, it, have you started to suffer any kind of creep? Or your tax, is your tax efficient? It'll grow your return, but then how do we increase the speed? And the speed is between your payment for your expenses and when the cash comes in from the sale that those expenses generated. So how do we improve that? It might be when you're billing your terms. We've got a couple of ideas around that that we're going to talk about in later videos. Then we get to cash, the money going out. I was obviously going to slow it down a little bit, it's always going to be necessary. And we look at the structure, because what you're looking at is a, a flywheel, again, that wants to feed itself and drive itself forward. What you don't want are little hiccups to pop up that you're not prepared for that slow down the whole process. So do you have your structure right? Is it in the right entity? Do you have the right organizational structure, the right people in the right seats? Do you have plans? Do you have business plans? Do you have forecasts that 
give you ideas of how to handle those hiccups that might pop up so it keeps on spinning as smoothly as possible. Okay. And so here we're, again we're looking at forecast strategies. And again we're going to talk about some of those in later videos. A good way to start off in terms of you actually getting value out of this is to either draw this up yourself or print off a copy to the link that we're going to um, attach and then look at your own business in this sense. When was the last time you looked at your sales mix? When was the last time you looked at your expenses? When was the last time you had a good strong conversation about tax? What are your dealer days? Do you know your dealer days? Do you know if there's some creep there? What are your, your terms of your payables? Do you have forecasts? Do you have plans? Can you start to build this? And in the coming video, we'll talk about business plans in a bit more depth. Hopefully you've got a bit of value out of this. If you have, please share it. Please subscribe so that you catch those future videos that we're going to release. And stay in touch. Until next time, thanks for watching.